I'm currently outside Birmingham Blue Street Railway Station and today we're going to be stopping off at every single station on the Stout Valley Line. So I'm going to head into Blue Street Station now to find my train to the first railway station. So let's talk about the Stour Valley Line. It's actually part of the West Coast Bay Line between Birmingham New Street and Wolverhampton and we shall be stopping off at all six intermediate stations along the route. So I'm now on board the first train, 350 374 and this will take us to Smelly Control Street. So our first location on the Stour Valley Line is Medic Wall Street Station and yes I do have a coffee in my hand as well. Always have a coffee when I'm here. It does have two platforms and the station was opened on the 1st of July 1852 by the Birmingham Warburhampton to the Stour Valley Railway Company. It was rebuilt in 1890. So at the North End of Smelik Vol Street, it does have some lovely artwork here as well, and it does have a half an hour frequency between Warburhampton and Warsaw. However though, I'm not catching the train here to the next station. It's not too far away, so I'm actually going to go for a walk along the Birmingham Canal. So we're now alongside the Birmingham Canal and to be honest, the Stour Valley Line actually does run by the Birmingham Canal. Or is it the Birmingham Canal Navigation? So the reason I was heading back towards Birmingham is, is to see this right here. This is Melick Junction. And this is where the canal is actually split into two. The canal on the right is the original part of the Birmingham Canal, or the Birmingham Canal Navigation, built in 1769 by James Brinley, the old main line. And the canal on the left was actually built 60 years later in 1829 by Thomas Telford to take off seven miles from the original route and to send canal boats towards Birmingham Wolverhampton faster. Is that a bridge or is that just looks like a cathedral? Just the way it looks. By the way, that is the Edged Arm Aqueduct and we are heading on the new main line towards Mate Galton Bridge. Apparently it's about a 21 minute walk. It might be a bit longer for me because I'm filming while I'm walking. But we're just going under the um, aqueduct now. But this part of the canal is just absolutely stunning, honestly. It's just stunning. So the building right behind me there is Medic Pumping Station which opened in 1892 and you can get a lovely view of the pumping station and the canal from this bridge just right behind me here. Literally stunning views. Also you can notice, I just put it this way, is that a footbridge up there? That is the Stour Valley Line which you can also see trains passing through between Smedic Wall Street and Smedic Galton Bridge. I have now just come out of Golden Tunnel. It's all right, I can't show you it properly because the sun's literally above it. But there's a couple of things I want to show you this side of the camera before we head back to that over there. Because that viaduct there has the high level platforms to Smelik Golden Bridge Station with Snow Hill Line services from Stour Bridge towards Birmingham Snow Hill. Up here is Golden Bridge, which opened in 1829 by Thomas Telford. And this is the part where it actually leaves the canal now and head to the railway station to make Galton Bridge to catch the next train to the next station. So 
So we have now made it to Spellick Galton Bridge Station. This station opened in September 1995, replacing Spellick West Station, which closed in 1996. And was also part of the jewelry line scheme to reopen the line between Spellick Galton Bridge and Birmingham Snow Hill. So a little bit further from Spellick Galton Bridge Station, there is another railway station, but sadly it's disused, called Spons Lane. And this opened on the 1st of July 1852 by the Birmingham, Wolverhampton and Stour Valley Railway Company, but closed the passengers in 1964. And honestly, it's about time we get the train out of here to head to our next station, Sandwell and Dudley. I actually stopped down there. So we have now reached Sandwell and Dudley. This station opened on the 1st of July 1852 by the Birmingham, Warburhampton and Stour Valley Railway Company. When it was opened though, it was actually named Oldbury. Now it wasn't until 1984 when the station was remodeled, rebuilt, and also then it was named Sandwell and Dudley. As well as West Midlands Railway calling here, you do get services for Vanty West Coast and Transport for Wales services stopping here as well. But we're just going to leave the station for a second because I want to show you something with the Birmingham Canal before we head to our next station, Dudley Port. So I'm back on the Birmingham Navigation Canal. Right behind me here is the 1769 part, the old main line. And right here is the 1829 new main line. And they actually join here at Bronford Junction. This is the north end where the two canals merge back into one. Anyway, I'm going back to the railway station now to tick off, well, to tick off and visit more railway stations, even though obviously I have been to these before. So we have now reached Dudley Port Station. This is the only station on the Stour Valley Line, which is an island platform. This station opened on the 1st of July 1852 as Dudley Port High Level. I'll show you the low level platforms in a second. However though, in 1964 it was renamed to Dudley Port. So Dudley Port had a high level platform. Now I'm going to show you where the low level platforms used to be. You do have to leave Dudley Port Station and head through the car park in this direction down here. But to be honest though, it's only less than a minute to reach it. So the low level platforms were just here. And this was Dudley Port Low Level, which opened by the South Staffordshire Railway in 1850, but closed to passengers in 1964. They are bringing this line back in use as part of the West Midlands Metro extension from Wensbury to Briley Hill. So right next door to Dudley Port Station was the Birmingham Canal and I was planning to go to walk this to Tipton but I've decided against it now because time is pushing on a bit and I want to get to Tipton and Coesley. So I am waiting for the next train to take us to Tipton so we can have a quick look at Tipton Station. So we have now reached Tipton Station. Honestly, if you look at this station, it just looks so modern. But believe it or not, this station opened on the 1st of May, 1852 by the Birmingham, Wolverhampton and Stour Valley Railway Company. Because it temporarily closed in 2009 for a refurbishment 
and didn't reopen till 2010. So just outside Tipton Railway Station, there's this little path that's just down here. I wonder where it leads to. And this path right here, it just takes you right to the Birmingham Canal again. There it is, that's the Birmingham Canal. It's literally right next door to Tipton Railway Station. So I shall be leaving Tipton Station ahead to the penultimate station, Coesley, which is the second to last station before we get to Wolverhampton. Our 350 should be coming in now to take us to Coesley. So this station right here is the penultimate station, Coesley, and it did not open on the 1st of July 1852. This station opened on the 10th of March 1902 by the London and North Western Railway. If you want the 1852 station, it's in that direction up there, 400 yards up north. And that one opened on the 1st of July 1852, but it closed when this Coesley station opened. <laughs> To be honest, it has really been a very tough day on the Stour Valley Line. Honestly, visiting those railway stations and visiting parts of the Birmingham Canal navigation has really been very tough, but it's also been an epic adventure. I can see why the other YouTubers do railway stations and places of interest because they just have amazing adventures. But we're not overdue it yet because we have got one more station to get to, Wolverhampton. But unfortunately, the train is running about four minutes late. Out of all the trains that have ran late today, they may be on time. The last train is always running late. Anyway, it's literally just pulling in right now. So we are going to board this train and head to Wolverhampton. So we have now reached Wolverhampton Station, the end of the Stour Valley Line from Birmingham. And honestly now I'm going to pop a video in front of this Super Voyager right here, because we don't like Super Voyagers. The people on screen now are YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trait. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on board for a new video down the line next week.